But I do want to talk about the best DLCs. Um, I think this is a good conversation to have. Um, no particular order, though. I yeah. think that's almost impossible to talk yeah. about. So Shadow of the Earth Trees for one of mine. Mm -hmm. I would go also, um, do you have one that you want to mention next? I'm just, I'm much more into thinking of like DLCs and mm -hmm. just like the games that I grew up in. It's okay, yeah. So um, I think some worthy mentions are obviously like. So just send me one right now and just, then we'll go back and forth. Okay, well, I haven't done it. It's oh. the, the Witcher 3 DLC, but what I was oh, okay. thinking was um, there was DLC for, I think, Gears 2, Gears 2, where you actually got to like play mm -hmm. as a locust for a little bit. Was that two? Disguise as a locust. Yes, yes, yes. That was the big That one. was a cool. That was a really Gears cool 3 one. had a good one, too, with Rom's um, Shadow. Yeah, that's right, too. And then I was thinking about Fallout New Vegas's last DLC. I never played any of those. So that one is the Lonesome Road, where you get to okay. meet um, what's his face? I forgot his name already. Ezekiel, someone like that. Ulysses, Ulysses, which is the a lot of people say it's like one of the coolest characters. Yeah, he's one of the coolest characters. And uh, Lonesome Road, and then Honest Heart with Joshua Graham, the, uh, mm -hmm. the Burning Man of the Caesar's Legion, and I think he's like. The best character ever. I could listen okay. to that guy read me a book. He's such a guy. I love that. Well, for me, uh, I'm going to go, again, no particular order. Uh, Burial at Sea for Bioshock Infinite. I okay. think is flat out one of the best add-ons. Dude, That's it a good is one. the way that it opens up the world, the way that I got more time with Elizabeth. It just made mm -hmm. me so happy because I think Elizabeth is probably my favorite Bioshock character. Um, so I love that. Up next, uh, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep for Borderlands 2. Uh, just easily one of my favorite things ever that they brought to Borderlands, and it made me love Borderlands 2 even more. Every time I go back to play it, I just look forward to that because it's not just because of the fantasy elements. It's because of what it's for Tiny Tina. They, it's it the got grief. Its own it got its own. Yeah, too, which right? I never. I, I bought it. I never played it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't. Um, I'm not going to say this one, but I think you would like this. Uh, Blood Dragon from Far Cry 3. Oh, yes. I love Blood Dragon. Yeah, I knew you did. I, I liked it. I liked it. I didn't. I, 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 I wasn't blown 80s, away by it. Like, yeah. Cyber retro mm -hmm. kind of feeling. Yeah. Um, man, that's a good DLC. Yeah. I so really like I do that one. Uh, Diablo 2, Lord of the Destruction. I oh. think that one is incredible. I think that's just the pinnacle of it all. Yeah, some... Every time Blizzard does an add-on, it's usually yeah. great. It's so. like how you can't play Diablo 3 without uh, Reaper of Shadows. Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. It, right? Yeah, and then uh, Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne. Yeah, if you, yeah. back in the day, that was great. Um, newer one, Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom that's Liberty. Uh, really shook my mind i mean the story for that's great this is another one you're gonna like red dead redemption undead nightmare yes one of the best dlcs um that was a really good expansion shout out to these ones uh gta 4's dlcs the ballad of gay tony and lost and damned were great oh. i wouldn't personally put them on mine but i did like those dude i hated grand theft auto 4 i love grand theft auto 4 that's it. my favorite one i don't know why i hate it but i just don't like it i get it that's fine i think you're fucking crazy yeah. is it because nico do you want to go bowling I don't know. It was just like, I didn't really like the protagonist as much as I did like San Andreas. Or yeah, like, fair enough. That's okay. Um, Liberty. Th City. That's a big thing with GTA though, is that if you're not into the protagonist, like like GTA 5, I didn't replay a lot because I fucking hated Trevor. Oh, really? I hated Trevor. Yeah. I hated, I actually, to be honest with you, I hated most characters in that game. Mm -hmm. But I, I, they were entertaining, but like, I just didn't want to play as them. Yeah. Um, up next, The Last of Us Left Behind, uh, the DLC with Ellie, finding her backstory in that original game. Fantastic. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, the Witcher 3, I've never played all the way through those DLCs, so I don't want to say them, sadly. Yeah. Um, also, this list I'm looking at, Fallout New Vegas, is the number one. What, Lonesome Road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it uh, Honest Hearts on there? Honest Hearts as well, yeah. Yeah. So Those I'll say like that. It. I got two more, though. I think I'm going to go, again, this is no, no particular order. I'm probably going to go number two as uh, one of the Fallout 3 ones. I think Fallout 3 just had a massive great. Mm -hmm. Like, they were all so fun, whether it's uh, um, The Pit. Was that what it was? Yeah, where you get to be a slave in yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, the pit was cool. I thought Mothership Zeta was awesome. Mm -hmm. A lot of people hate Anchorage. I loved it. And then Broken Steel lets you play the game more, yeah. which was like, it you have to have that. gave you more story, and then it made it so that way when you finally beat the game, you could just do whatever you want. Yep. Um, but my number one, and this one is the only one in order, 
is Mass Effect 3's Citadel DLC. Uh, it changed the fucking game. And that's what's so cool about the Legendary Edition is it's all weaved into the story. All the DLCs are just weaved into the story now mm-hmm. to where they were. They don't require them, but they recommend you do all of this before you beat Ooh, the games. You know what? Uh, a good worthy mansion too, is the DLC for Metro series. For Metro. Metro games. I never played them. Were they good? Um, yeah, there's one... Um, in Metro Exodus, yeah, the voice actor who does like Dempsey, he's a, one of the characters in Exodus, and it actually uh-huh. follows his story. I think it's like Sam's story, and then you get to follow. Oh, that's um, cool. Artyom's wife Anna, her, yeah, her dad. I think her dad is like has like his own separate DLC, mm-hmm. and it's like at the peak end of the game as well. Uh-uh. I have no uh, idea. I didn't yeah, even know they had are, DLC to be honest with you. Those, those are really good ones. Um, the Metro series is always like really good story. I love them. They're great. Uh, Destiny fans, make sure to shout out your favorite DLC. Ooh, you can't because most of them you can't fucking play. <laughs> yeah, Bungie, I'm calling you out for that. I'm calling you out for that.